All right, so I'm going to do a couple of things in this video. First, I'm going to give you guys my answers to poll number one and poll number two. And then I'm going to explain to you why. I'm going to rate the men of Gilmore Girls from worst to best and tell you why I think that. So let's get into it. Poll number one was... Dean, Jess, or Logan? My answer, Logan. Poll number two, this is where it gets controversial, is Max, Christopher, Luke, or Digger? My answer to that is Digger. Now, like I said, I'm going to give you guys a rating from worst to best men of Gilmore Girls, and that will explain why I picked who I picked. So let's see. There was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven men that actually had meaningful relationships with the Gilmore Girls. So we're going to start with number seven. Bottom of the barrel, worst of the worst, Dean. Dean is a self-serving, lying, manipulative Passive aggressive gaslighting piece of crap who took Rory's virginity while cheating on his wife. If you're Team Dean, you're in love with Jared Padalecki, not Dean Forrester. <clears throat> Dude's the bottom. Number six on my list is Christopher. He's, as far as Lorelei's choices, again, bottom of the barrel. The dude is how old in the show like he's in like his 30s 40s and still doesn't have his stuff together and if he can't get it together for Lorelai or for himself or for Gigi that's just a broken dude and I actually there's parts of the the show where I actually like him but he's not good for Lorelai at all number five on my list Here's where I'm going to catch so much hate, but bring it on, is Luke Danes. Honestly, Luke is like genuinely one of the best dudes on the show. Like, I love Luke's character. I love who he is. But for Lorelai, he, he's no good. He's he's self-loathing. He, he, so much so that he pushes Lorelai away. And, you know, he's there to fix the little things in her life. But when she really, really, really needs him, when it's crunch time, Luke vanishes. And let's not forget, he lied to her about having a daughter. That is huge. He lied to her. He hid it from her while he was lecturing her about lying to him and being honest with him. Come on, man. That's horrible. Which brings us to number four. And again, I'm going to catch a bunch of hate over this one, but it's Jess. Jess is number four. Just like Luke, he is self-loathing. Now, opposite of Luke, every single time in the show that Rory's life goes so far off track and out of whack, he's the only person that ends up getting her back on track. And for that, Jess is definitely Rory's best friend, but as a couple, they're toxic. He, he just like his uncle, he's self-loathing. He thinks he doesn't deserve Rory. So when they're actually in a relationship, he's not there for her. He pushes her away. He treats her like garbage. He doesn't communicate. He leaves without telling her where he's going. So like I said, as a friend, Jess, thumbs up. As a significant other for Rory, <clears throat> absolutely not. Number three on the list, Max Medina. To be honest, I actually like Max. He is a good guy in the show. His character is great. He's educated. He's, I'm told, handsome. Uh, you know, he, he checks all the boxes. But to be honest with you, he's not man enough for Lorelai. I mean, he tries. He's romantic. Um, he's mildly impulsive. Um, he, he does check a lot of the boxes for Lorelai. 
but I feel like her personality is just too big for him. As a person, I like him. As a significant other for Lorelai, not so much. Number two on the list, my actual favorite character of the whole show, Logan Huntsberger. I mean, Logan goes hard for Rory. Like, he gives her everything he's never given any other woman in his life. Like, he pursues her so hard. And this is a guy who's never pursued any woman. He checks the box of rich. He checks the box of bad boy. He's funny. He's good looking. He's literally everything she needs in a guy. He may not be the perfect man, but he is definitely, of the ones on the show, the perfect man for Rory. And now the one I'll catch the most shit for. The number one guy on Gilmore Girls who dated a Gilmore girl is Jason Digger Styles. Say what you want. Say the guy's a weirdo. He's, you know, whatever. But you know what? Lorelai's a weirdo. Lorelai's quirky. They don't have the same quirks, yet their quirks complement each other. He did more for Lorelai than any other man on that show. He went harder for her. He put more effort into it. He adjusted his life, everything to be with Lorelai. He was so head over heels in love with Lorelai, and Lorelai was in love with him. Now, what Richard did that forced Jason's hand, that was garbage. But you know what? I put that on Richard. Like, that was seriously a crappy, crappy thing for him to do. But it wasn't Jason's fault. But Jason had to stick up for himself. He had to. That was literally his only option was to defend himself. Had he not, then he definitely wouldn't have been the right man for Lorelai either way. So that's it. That's my responses. That's my list of Gilmore Girls Men rated. Tell me what you think. Have at it.